All right. <laughs> That's what I was getting. Hello, and in audience, my name is Josh A. Gales, and I am your coach of the New York Metagross. Welcome to UDL week number seven. Your New York Metagross are four and two, going against the two and four. Yeet! Town. Coached by Gravy and Biscuits. I've already made all these jokes before, and I've already done all this shit before. Uh, basically, OBS crashed while I was live recording this game, so you guys get to see a, kind of like a replay of it. Anyway... Uh, we have this Pokemon, Sub Bulk Up, Marshadow, we have uh, ICMC Cure White, we have uh, Pixie Plate, Defensive, Arceus Fairy with three attacks, Stealth Rock Jirachi, uh, this Alolan Muck, and then an Assault Vestalandris. So anyway, getting to the game, um, uh, I gotta talk to him later. Uh, so let's just knock this out, hopefully my OPS doesn't crash again. Anyway, so... I gotta tell, I, I'm so mad because this live recording is great, like I made awesome predictions, I made, had awesome reactions. Anyway, his team consists of these six Pokemon, but the four that you don't see are the Z Mewtwo and the Z Tapu Bulu, the Raikou and the Gliscor. So, that happened. That's a Mega Blaziken, that's a Protean Greninja, and that is a Shelmet, which walls every Pokemon on my entire roster. Unless I boost up or get cheeky. So I'm slightly cheeky, like the sub bulk of Marshadow. Anyway, let's play this game. Um... He leads off with the Shelmet. I love the Arceus Fairy because it had a great matchup versus a lot of things. And I can find the like the Celesteela. But he leads off with that, so I have to get to get out of there and try and knock it off. And then he's going to go for Sub. It's called I'm Sorry. Alright, this is really fast. but So this Pokemon is called I'm Sorry. Uh, and the second I said I saw I'm Sorry, I said out loud on this recording, it says I'm Sorry. This thing's going to be Sub, Leech, Seed, Protect, and probably Toxic in the last slot. Maybe Heavy Slam. So I go for Knock Off. It breaks the Sub. As he, I believe, goes for Leech Seed here as I go for Knock Off again because I want to get rid of the leftovers because that makes it easier to kill. So I knock off that. He gets some Leech Seed recovery. I'm going to go out to my um, Landorus hoping he doesn't sub, but guess what he's going to do? I'll give you a hint. He subs. So I'm like, I can break this uh, thing with two Smackdowns, and then I forgot that I'm uh, minus attack nature and it takes three Smackdowns to break. And Smackdown doesn't make him go down to the ground when he's behind the sub, which sucks. Otherwise, I could have just Earth Powered him to hell. I brought Earth Power and Sludge Wave because Top of Bulu. So. And I brought SmackDown because of Celesteela. So anyway, I'm going to sit here and, like, try my best to not suck. As he's going to go for another substitute because his penis is small. So, uh, that's going to be a thing. So I'm going to go to my Cure in White here and pray to God he doesn't lease Eater Toxic and stuff. But unfortunately he does. And now I know that I also know that he's four attacks. Uh, I'm going to stop talking really fast. Good lord. Um, uh... So I know this thing is for um, status moves, so I know that my Marshadow can put a sub against it, so I kind of want to attack something. This is the only Pokemon I really feel comfortable like letting die, because a lot of his team is faster than it, or like it's not going to stay in versus it. And I can get damage off on this with my Z and stuff. So once I get Marshadow in, I can sub on this or the Shellman and just start boosting, which is really nice. I have Mono Ghost, which sucks because of Greninja, but since it's Protean, it's going to change into like... Or whatever, I don't think he'd go for Dark Pulse versus me. I figured a physical set would come with, like, Waterfall, um, Gunk Shot, Night Slash. That's all I really need. Maybe Grass Knot. And, like, good mix. But anyway, um, uh, he goes to Toxic here, and that's really good for me. I could double out to Marsh Shadow right now and just start boosting, but I didn't want to risk him switching out. So I'm going to go for another Fusion Flare. Continue to make him think that I might be choice in some fashion. As on this next turn, since you're used to protect, I'm going to go for my Sub-Zero Slammer, and... <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Giratina. So he's going to go back out into his... Or she's going to go into his Greninja, and I'm going to go to my Monk, which is basically my way to handle this. As he goes for Rock Slide, and I reveal that's probably Choice Scarfed. So he's going to go back out to a Celesteela as I go for Fire Punch, being great at the game, and I get a whole 32% off on him. And now I'm going to sack off my Cure and White. I see he goes for Leech Seed instead of anything. And I barely lived this. Ready? And since I know he's going to protect, I'm going to go for Roost to get some um, health up. And I want to, like, weaken this thing a little bit, but not... Like, I want to weaken this thing so I can sub on it with Marsh Shadow later. But I didn't expect it to do that much damage. I see he goes for Sub instead of just a, anything else. And I live, unfortunately. So now I have to kill it with Ice Beam. I could have Flash Cannon, but whatever. I die. Uh, I go to my uh, Marshadow, and the reason I go to Marshadow is because in um, first turn he went to Shelmet. He led Shelmet, so that made me think, okay, now he'll go to Shelmet because he thinks he has a good matchup. So I went to my Marshadow so I can sub on it. And, um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to bulk up, and um, 
hit them in the bug bite, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bulk up again. And it's gonna go out to Greninja. And I know this thing's gonna change type, so I'm gonna go for Spectral Thief. I don't really have a choice, but I'm gonna go for Spectral Thief. And he's gonna Aerial Ace, changing his type to Flying. And this thing is going to smack face down onto the floor. Goodbye. So now he's gonna go to Xerneas, which I don't kill, by the way. I unfortunately don't kill the thing, and I'm also afraid that this might be Scarf, but I don't care. I'm positive it's not Scarf, because Greninja was Scarf. So he's gonna go for Moonblast. I just wanted to see what he would do. Maybe he might Geomancy and I can Spectral Thief him. Uh, so I'm gonna go to my Polaris. That tells me he's not Specs or Life Orb or Pixie Plate. So I'm probably pretty sure he's just Geomancy. I'm gonna go for my rocks because my rocks are gonna be nice for wearing down like that Mega Blades game, which can still sweep me, by the way. And I'm gonna go out to my Muck on this thing. So again, I wanna knock off the Evi Light so I can kill it with other stuff easier. Uh, and he's gonna go to Blaziken on my Muck at the Poison Jab. Get a lot of damage off, but that thing in range of a, a Chatter Sneak. And I'm gonna sack off my Landorus, get the Incubate off. And here I make a misplay. Like, I first I sack off my Landorus. But I make a misplay and forget completely about Speed Boost. Basically, since he was intimidated, I can go to my Mars Shadow and bulk up and his uh, Flare Blitz as he is, at my, he is at minus one and my plus one does like 40. And I could have just bulked up twice and didn't just Spectral Thief my entire way through his team. But I forgot and he's in a Flare Blitz and he's going to do uh, a lot of damage. But I'm still getting a bulk up up. I'm still going to be able to threaten the Blaziken in front of me with spec uh, Shadow Snake and kill it. And Shelmet can't beat me. I have enough HP for a sub. So he has to go into Xerneas. And he goes into Xerneas. And here I make a very nice play. I'm very happy with this play. I know that I can go to my Jirachi and stuff and weaken it for like Shadow Snake or whatever. But I want to see what he's going to do. I want to see if he's going to over predict and go for like HP Fire or Focus Blast or, um, or if he's going to Geomancy. And I'm going to sub on that because I know I outspeed him. It's okay to do this. Like it's not going to lose me anything. As he Geomancies, which is amazing, by the way. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. And, um, yeah, he's gonna Moonblast, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna snatch all them boosts. Uh, so, yeah, this is gonna do that much damage, and that puts him in range of Shadow Sneak, even though I'm plus two speed and faster. And I'm gonna kill him with Shadow Sneak, and then he goes into the Shelmet, which can't break my sub. So, I'm gonna sub on that, and I'm gonna just Spectral Thief him a couple times, and, um, March Shadow walks away with four kills. March Shadow walks away with 15 kills in a seven-week season. <laughs> so anyway, that's GG to um, Biscuits and Gravy and the Yeet Town. Um, he unfortunately is now out of playoffs, and uh, we walk into playoffs with a five and two plus a lot record. Um, what is my record? Uh, what is my differential? I should say I lost two, I lost three, and I won. Wait, I have it right here. <laughs> I just looked up and saw it. Standings. Uh, I'm 5 and 2 plus 13. So that's very nice. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and next time you will see me from this league, you will see me in playoffs. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Shout out to the Super Boots and Marshadow. Peace!